What we've got here at Franklin High School today is we've got the Williamson County Sheriff's Department school resource officers also here improving themselves with some professional development, doing some training in our building when the kids aren't here to, to just uh, fine tune their skills. Down their knees, face the wall! Down their knees, face the wall! The different scenarios that they're doing today allow them the opportunity to go through and do it safely. It keeps our minds sharp, it keeps our brains working and and, and concentrating on what our actual job is. Okay, I need everybody else to leave the room. Everybody else leave the room. One of the biggest things that we get out of this, I believe, is the camaraderie. Uh, we're a very close-knit group because we all deal with the same types of stuff and, and being in the schools is a lot different than being out on the street and working since you're dealing with kids so much. I'm not upset, I just want my kids. I have the right to my kids and I, I, I need my kids. We've got school resource officers in each one of our schools and during the day they deal with a multitude of things. They make sure that the school stays locked up and secure. They make sure that our students and staff are safe. Put the knife down, we're gonna get you some help. What's wrong? But they can actually practice and train on responding to different types of scenarios and just get that experience of dealing with it. The problem is that my home is not here at the school. I don't care anymore. The Williams County Sheriff's Office is very supportive of their school resource officer division. They uh, provide them a great deal of training and education throughout the year. And obviously as the Williams County School District, we support them in every way possible and allowing them use to our different schools and facilities so that they can train in as many different types of environments uh, as possible. It's a great example of public servants and we're introducing it at the earliest ages in our school district and they're just in and around our schools and, and providing that resource to us that just helps us keep us safe and sound.